Thanks for joining us tonight on TCM. I'm Eddie Muller. For the back half of our Gloria Graham double feature, we have the movie that brought her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, The Bad and the Beautiful. And joining me to discuss Graham's career is Annette Benning, who portrays the actress in the new movie, Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. Welcome back, Annette. Thank you. Okay, so do, do you like her performance in this movie? I love her performance. It's one of her very, what, what do you call like a eccentric performance, let's yes, say. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And In a Lonely Place feels much more sort of grounded in reality, um, acting-wise, and The Bad and the Beautiful has much more of a sort of heightened style to it with Lana Turner. She's doing the Douglas. voice, you know. She's doing the voice, she's doing the accent, and the character has all kinds of layers that are interesting, that <laughs> she's... She comes off one way, but we learn that she's really another mm. kind of woman. Terry Moore told me that year that Gloria was nominated for an Academy Award. Obviously, she won for Bad and the Beautiful. Terry was also yes, nominated was. that yeah. year, and she was there. She was very happy. They were friends, good friends, and she was very happy for Gloria when she won. I guess it was Thelma Ritter. Uh, Jean Hagen for nice. Sailor in the Rain. Nice. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's a, quite a group. So now, was it true that it was the fewest minutes of screen time won by someone, uh, by performed by someone who won the Academy Award? Because I think she's on screen for like she's nine not, minutes. She's not in the movie enough. I can uh, yeah, that is for yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and it certainly was maybe the shortest Oscar acceptance speech of all time. Absolutely. Right? Four words. <laughs> that was it. There's a story about her tripping. Yeah. Right? As she came down the stairs. Okay, so I had read that story that when she stood up to get her award, she comes out and they you see it happen on camera, but you don't see a trip, but that she sort of tripped a little bit. And I asked Terry Moore about that. I said, So you were there. Did that happen? And she said no. Okay. <laughs> see, more Hollywood apocrypha. <laughs> well, see, this is the kind of thing that dogged know. Gloria Graham. Yeah. I think because she was very unconventional in her personal life. And the trade press and people, gee, nothing has really changed, right? right. They sort of picked on her. The, the rumor was is that she was drunk. Right. You know, and, and I think that was unfair. And that's why she didn't really give a speech. She just said, thank you very much, and walked off. And, and it, like, people are looking for something here, you know? Like, look, she's tottering as she comes down the aisle. And it's like, no, oh, she's not. She's wearing a long dress and heels. I mean, she's excited. What, what's the deal, you know? So... And she walks down the steps with great style, really. Oh, absolutely, She had that yeah. terrific dress, very yeah. simple, strapless. She, she looks, looks smashing. phenomenal. Yeah. Do you, do you like this film? I do like it very much. And uh, watching Kirk Douglas and Lana Turner and everyone in the film and the way the film was shot, Vincent Minnelli. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, he loved to move the camera, so it's sort of the opposite of In a Lonely Place. He's, he's always, he starts on things, he, mm -hmm. he has lots of long uh, tracking shots. It's really, it's really fun to watch. It's very well done. Kirk Douglas, I think, for sure, it's one of his best performances. So deep and so yeah. tortured and uh, a lot of cigarette acting in that movie. <laughs> you know what cigarette yeah. acting is, uh, right? The, well, the scene starts, you pick up the cigarette, you light it, the, the lighters, the stuff with yes, the ashtrays yes. and the, the smoking. I feel like everyone's constantly smoking in the movie. How do you, how do you feel about that? Because they've always called cigarettes like the actor's best friend, you know? Right. And uh, you don't really get to smoke in movies anymore. One of the things they teach you in acting school that I glommed onto is what they call secondary action, which is just a fancy way Way of saying some do something with your hands if you have something in your hands as you're speaking or if you're uh, smoking a cigarette or peeling a potato or adjusting your tie or whatever it is somehow that helps mm -hmm. and so cigarettes are a great prop you've got the cigarettes you've got either the matches or the lighter and the ashtray and the inhaling and exhale all of that stuff, it, it, it's great fun. It, yeah. We don't I, use real cigarettes anymore. We used to, but yeah. we don't use them. I'm we, sure in Hollywood, back in the old days, they had like cigarette smoking classes. Oh, yeah. You know, so, <laughs> so, so that you would know how to do it comfortably. You know, if you Walter didn't know Pigeon how to smoking. light the thing yes, and take yes. the cigarette, and get, it's like, no, we'll teach you. Don't worry, you know. But you notice in the movie, a lot of times at the beginning of 
the scene is where people are lighting up because but then you're doing a, when you do a lot of takes you're lighting a lot of cigarettes oh, yeah. but I but I oh, noticed yeah. that they're all lighting up a lot in in the scenes as well okay we're gonna let people watch this movie now okay terrific all right. from 1952 starring Lana Turner Kirk Douglas Walter Pigeon Dick Powell and Gloria Graham the bad and the beautiful <laughs> 